Good morning. It's Thursday morning. It's our first morning here at Disney World. I just finished breakfast. It's 8.30. And we have a little time to kill, so I thought I'd do a quick video, let you know what's been happening. We dropped my friend off at the airport yesterday. Oh, we had such a nice time. We had a chance to go shopping and uh, really spend time shopping. She was so patient with me. Uh, I had no idea what size clothes I wore, so we came into the fitting room with, you know, a couple of sizes and the same things and until we got it all squared away. And come to find out, I had gone down quite a few sizes, and I haven't worn the size I'm in now since the 1960s. In fact, my son has never seen me as, at the weight I am now. So that's how long it's been. Um, we had such fun. The only downside to her trip, and it had nothing to do with her, but while we were at Kohl's, um, we had finished, oh, I don't know, two and a half, three hours of grueling trying on sessions. And... Um, I was through the double doors, sitting on a bench next to a woman who was waiting for her disabled mother to check out. And my friend Betty went and got the car. That was all well and good. It was raining, she offered. I said, yes, I, I didn't care if I got wet, but she said, oh, I'll go get the car. So in the meantime, Betty comes back and the woman looks at me and she said, your daughter's here to pick you up. And I'm usually a very nice person. But I was tired. And that statement just hit me wrong. I looked over at the woman and I said, Not that you care, but that's not my daughter. That's my friend. And we graduated high school together. And... Not that you need to know this, but I said, I've been sickly for the last year, but I'm certainly not old enough to be her mother. So when we got out, or uh, when I got into the car with Betty, she looked at me and she said, what did that woman say to you? And my feelings were so hurt by that lady that, um, I told her, I said, I don't remember. I don't know if my friend Betty reads lips, but I I just wasn't in the mood to say that she thought I was her mother because she would have got a kick out of that. I did I, I did tell her yet later on, but I couldn't do it right at the same time. I just couldn't do it. So um, uh, what that ruined it a little for me because I don't think, you know, I mean, I know I look old, and I know I don't do quite as good as her, especially physically running around and stuff like that. I can't. I can't, I can't walk fast. I can't do those things. But that would make me look 85. Now, I know I might be delusional, but I, I certainly don't think I look 85. You know, I hope not. Hey, listen. <laughs> I know some of you will have an opinion, and I'll sure, sure you'll give it to me. And, you know, opinions are okay. I don't care. Bring them on. Bring them on. Everybody has an opinion like other things, you know. So it doesn't bother me. But it just, it, it hurt my feelings at the time. And I, that kind of, that kind of rule. In it. Luckily, it was at the end of the vacation anyway. But. Uh, yesterday we arrived at Shades of Green, and it's lovely here, and, um, it's nice to see the kids. Wasn't too nice to get up early this morning, but I'll recover. I don't know if my husband will, because he said to me, for the next six months, I'm not getting up before nine o'clock in the morning. And I said, okay, 
I said, then I guess I'm taking them to the airport at 5 in the morning on Sunday. He said, well, you can't do that. You'd never find your way back. I said, you're probably right. He said, well, I guess I have to on Sunday. I said, yeah, you do. But I said, you don't any other time now. I said, it's, it's not important. You know, we can take our time. But we don't have any place to go. We, this is supposed to be our relaxing vacation. No parks, just the pool, and maybe some miniature golf, and maybe some bowling. But I digress. So we had a quiet night. We enjoyed a buffet. The kids went over to Chef Mick, Mickey's. Been there, done that before. And with me not being able to uh, eat a lot, buffets aren't my thing anymore. Not, not really. Not when you're paying 50 plus dollars to eat, you know, a very little portion. Mm -mm -mm. I'm too cheap. I'm too cheap. I don't want to waste the money. And my sir, my husband certainly doesn't want to waste the money. I usually order things if they don't have an adult small menu, dishes on the menu, I'll usually order an appetizer or something, and that's fine. That's all I need to eat. But anyway, we're, we're having a great time, and I just thought I would check in, let you know. We, we survived, we made it, and we're here, and hopefully during this time, in fact, I'm sitting out on an outside patio just outside the main lobby. You can see the fire behind me. We don't need it. It takes a little bit of the chill off the air, but it's really pretty. Um, I think I'm overlooking the pool area, but I'm not sure. No, maybe just the restaurant area. So I was going to show you a picture, but I don't think there's that much to see right where I am. It's, it's nice here. It's nice, and it's so much cheaper than staying in one of the Disney hotels in the Magic Kingdom area, like the Polynesian, the Grand Floridian, and the Contemporary, uh, which start well over 350 a night and go way up, depending on your room location and everything. Um, because this is the hotel that the Disney Company donated to the military, and I guess you have to be active military or um, retired military to stay here, or be relatives of said people. So that's how come we're enjoying this um, hotel. It's so convenient. I mean, you know, you're right at the at the ticket and transportation center, more or less. Um, you can get every place from here. They have their own buses, but you can take all of the Disney transportation, too, so. It's a good deal, you know. I think our room is 92 a night, and that's because we're not the actual military people. Can't beat that. Not on Disney property, I'll tell you. Even, even Disney's cheapest hotels come out to more than that a night, and they're way out in the boonie docks. So they're nice, but you have to, it's a long bus ride to, to the parks. So we usually, you know, stay in one of either a moderate hotel or sometimes a deluxe hotel. But um, if we can go with my son, his family, that makes it all the better. Well, I am going to close for now and I'll check in later during the week. So have a great week, everybody. God bless. Bye.